Today's Good Eats with the kids back in school. You might be packing those school lunches. And well, what if you cook for a living? I mean, there's some pressure that would come <laughs> with cooking for your kids, right? Right. You better go beyond the PB and J there. We checked in with one of Portland's most popular famous chefs, Corey Schreiber, to find out what he and his daughter Greta pack for school. Well, it's back to school, and it means what's going to go in the lunch. This is my daughter Greta. Greta is uh, eight years old. She goes to Arbor School where they actually don't have a kitchen, so all the kids have to make their lunch. Greta, what's your favorite thing for lunch? I think that I like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Well, I always draw back to the classics, and people wonder, like, well, what do chefs' kids cook at home? And really, for me, it still is tomato soup and grilled cheese. But, you know, certainly here in Oregon, I want to put a spin on that. Grand Central bread is their Goldendale bread all-time favorite, uh, Tillamook cheese. I have a friend who's a farmer, uh, Flamingo Ridge Farms. He grows an Oregon Star tomato. So right around in August, I start jarring tomatoes and I try and get about 50 quarts of these because I just think that his tomatoes are amazing. There's no seeds, it's wonderful juice. And this is how easy it is to make the tomato soup. And so this is, this is something that would go, do you ever take it in the thermos? Do I get to make tomato soup for you and you take it in the thermos? And how do you reheat a grilled cheese sandwich? Do you have a microwave at school? Yeah. <laughs> your microwave so you can make this and reheat it but these tomatoes are so good I just actually just pour them into a blender I like to just leave them whole oh great it's gonna get all messy I just do just like that and then that's gonna go onto the blender I'm gonna give it a little bit of a spin over here on the right hand side simply we just turn it off and I'm gonna let you pour it uh, into the uh, pan to heat it up so why wouldn't you want any onions in there or garlic in there or basil in there? Um, well, I'm not a big fan of all of those, and usually I just don't like them in anything except for you ravioli. Are. And then uh, we just heat this up, and then I'm going to take this over, and I'm going to have Greta grill the bread and add the Tillamook cheese. We're going to come back for the classic grilled cheese and tomato soup for lunch. It goes on there, so yeah, we're going to dual this one up. So Greta, can you put the bread onto the, the grill? Well, we've grilled off the uh, cheese sandwich, and the Greta is going to, I'm going to have you cut it actually, any way you want. Would you cut it in half? Would you cut it in four pieces? Would you share it with your friends? What? When you're at school, what's your favorite kind of snack foods? Because you guys get a little break around 10 o'clock to have a snack, and you don't have lunch until like 12, right? Well, I like having like Z bars and Z -bars. Okay. sandwiches a lot. All right, well, once again, this is just tomato. You can buy just canned tomatoes, like the Mira Glen tomatoes, and it just, again, puree them. I think kids just don't need all that extra stuff in there, right? Like the onions and the garlic. So there's tomato soup. Leave it plain if you want. That'll go into a thermos, stay hot all day. Why don't you try that sandwich and let me know if it fits your, oh, you dip it, do you? Oh, that's why these things go together so well. <laughs> My goodness, what a classic, classic item. A little hot, perhaps? That wouldn't happen at school, not right off the stove. What do you think? Is that your favorite cheese? Ten. cheese? It's a 10 on a scale of 1 to 10, so if I was uh, going to get a grade for this, I'd get an A. Mm -hmm. really? A plus. A plus. Well, if you keep it simple at home, and uh, do you, like, you don't like your lunch rotated too much, right? You like to kind of have the same things over and over, so don't let that bother you. If you can, make something, keep it local, back to school, enjoy. <laughs> Okay, that does look really oh, good. And I love that Greta is a dipper. I was wanting to do that <laughs> same thing with that cheese sandwich. Hey, more recipes from Corey at cookingfromthesource.com.